Hey you one, Yanni plays here and welcome back to another episode of 100 Days Winemaking here in Napa Valley. Now I did uh, play the head a few years. Now I did record it everything but I had audio issues so I guess I would just go you have to skip that. So what we were doing in that missing episode is we upgraded our warehouse. We are also upgrading, or we were upgrading, our uh, winery itself. The winery upgraded so that we have in our technology tab, let's head over here, that we could get this other yeast here. Because on our reasoning, we also have the issue that even though we can harvest it really, really late, we're not getting the sweetness that we want. So that's where we ended the last episode to ferment this Riesling because as you can see we are not going to get our star here we're not getting it with this one here and that's the one that we just bought and also here unfortunately we cannot get it the only difference is uh, we have a high alcohol resistance but yeah the Riesling is going to be hard to get the sweetness to the level that we need And then the warehouse we upgraded because we are starting to get quite the backlog on our bottles. As you can see, we're currently at 22,000 bottles. Now, we did just upgrade the warehouse so that now we can sell 15 orders each turn instead of just 10. So that's going to help us uh, increase our money flow and uh, reduce the backlog a little bit. Because eventually I would like to switch it back to private and restaurants and not sell it to the stores. Because the stores, they always uh, want to have a, a big and a heavy discount. Then we also just bought the tasting room. And the tasting room is going to increase our special orders. So of course we are going to bring that tasting room in. So we still have more space for another room. So let's head back into our technologies and see what else will be a good thing to do. So we have the tasting room. We could do the guided tours. The guided tours just provide us some extra income every turn. We can do e-commerce. We can do some online marketing campaigns. Now, I don't know what those marketing campaigns are going to bring us, but it would lead us to the exhibitions. And the only one that I ever had was the local one. And I was able to farm some fame. But maybe this turn we are trying to stay down here so we can get more of those buildings here guided tour merchandise or even uh, event organization because each of those buildings use up a lot of space so why don't we just go and get the e-commerce we can do some marketing campaigns and now we have room for one more store eventually but let's see what we can do with that extra marketing campaigns first so in our tool shed in the no in our warehouse in our rooms we now can do online marketing uses up quite a big spot so we just attract more customers we're gonna run one as soon as we have some space to see what we can achieve with that but that's probably not gonna be in the summer and in the fall because there is so much work that is going on right now out in the field. We already get our first harvest tiles in. Well, since we can't harvest, let's look. Riesling, we don't want to age. We want to try to go with body two. We're going in here. The last time we had body one and it said it had a good body. Now looking at those colors, I'm not sure if body two is enough. Could be body three. 
but I don't think that I can age it just one body up. So we're just going to leave it on two. Yeah, we cannot age it. So we're just going to leave it on body two. So that means our Riesling actually will be ready for bottling. So let's bottle up those 6,000 bottles and get one of them off of our board. And then our oak wool is perfect to harvest right now. So we have the uh, best possible acidity that we need. Great quality on our souvenir plant. And we have a lot of dirty tanks that we need to clean. So let's get those cleaned. Riesling, we need to have the sugar as high as possible. Even though it is not rising right now, we are waiting on that. Coombsville, our Cabernet Sauvignon. I have to look into the book. The acidity is a six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. So next turn, Coombsville needs to be harvested. So I guess we just go with the Los Ganeras for now. Let's get our Riesling tasted. And Sauvignon Blanc will be ready for bottling. At least since it is raining, our Coombsville is not going to progress anymore. Our Riesling on the other side is. So we're going to get more sugar out of you. So that's good. So we just have to sit tight and wait until that rain is over. Make sure we're not overcrowding the board. Let's get that Riesling in really quick. Yes, we got the body. Body was too. And the tannin. So body and tannin and sweet whiskey. No, acidity is too high. So we have to have a lower acidity. Selling for 17. Let's check out our book. Riesling. We have all of them. I didn't realize that we knew the acidity from the Riesling. So Riesling is clearly going to be malolactic fermentation. Even though when we harvest very late, it is going to get already pretty low in the acidity anyways. So since the sugar is not going to raise anymore, we are just going to harvest. Because otherwise, well, it's not going to, it's not going to matter if we wait any longer because sugar is going up and next turn we have to harvest anyways. We have a great quality here. But I don't like that all of our treatments are starting to run out. Oh, you know what I just remembered? We got more special orders, supposedly. Oh, yeah. And start selling some of them. Getting our fame up. Oh, our Sinfandel, that's the one that we still don't have all the stars in Tannin and Acidity. Let's go Tannin 8. Give it a little bit more. Tannin 8. And acidity, which is going to have to do malolactic fermentation. So even with 15 orders, we are still keep on hovering around those 25. So we may need to increase that even more. And the amount of tiles that I have sitting right now is kind of insane. And why do I have... Oh, I'm still working on the 39 Sinfandel and the 40 Sinfandel is also ready. So that means we're going to have a lot of bottling coming up soon. Which again brings up the question, do we need more bottling machines? We got all the stars here and 96. I have a feeling that's going to be the first one that we are going to hit 100 out of 100. What was the quality? It was great quality. But yeah, that this one here is our money cap because we always sell it for more than 20. And we always get close to 8,000 bottles. 
I just don't know when and where I'm going to get any of my work done. Because we are about to harvest our 2041 Sinfandel. I guess I need to start saving up for another board upgrade. Oh, wow. Two acidity reduced on Oakville. So Oakville is going into harvest in our next turn. But we are not quite there yet with harvesting anything else. So let's see if we can use that to clean up as much as possible. Another wildfire. We haven't had one of those in a long time. That actually is the second wildfire that we had so far. And we are in 2041. And that reminds me. Up here in this corner we have the deers. And as we had the first wildfire. The first thing that was looking at was... Are the deer still there? And I mentioned that in the Discord and the developer was like, yeah, that was, uh, I think he said five minutes before the game got shipped out and released. They realized that and removed them. So that's why we are not having any grilled deer barbecue over here. Oh, our, our reasoning. The first time we are going to get the sweetness and hopefully we can reduce the acidity with the malolactic fermentation. Hopefully it is pulling off just two and more of them. What is reduction flavor? Because that's the first time that I have that. Oh, well, somebody needs wine to cook with, so here we go. Average quality. About what we always have. Okay, now we can harvest Coombsville. Taste our 2040 Sinfondel. No reduction this time. Cigar box. Yeah, quality is a little bit better on this one. Why do we always have a city too high? That, that's the one that we always harvest down here. I need to pay closer attention to our Sinfandel. Oh, grape harvest are broken again. Why does it take two turns? Did I not bought the repair room? No space. Well, I can shuffle it however I want. There's just not enough room in here. That is not good. So we should be able to harvest it still. Unless we have rain. And I guess we have to upgrade our tool shed even more. But you know what? Since we have that funny looking space here. Let's go ahead and do some online marketing. So we can select our interest. Art, sports, or technology. Let's just leave it in art. And then select how many turns. Let's just do it for three turns. And we just do it on our vineyard itself. Please no rain. Please no rain. Because this one here is the one that I really want. Some high quality. Also, did we not select the three turns? Oh, it is for duration 3, but it doesn't mean that it stays on for 3. But also looking at the recording time, I believe that is where we have to stop it for today. We got a few things done. I think we got a pretty decent Riesling out of it this time. Well, our 2040 Riesling is not out yet. That is our 2040. Well, our 2040 Riesling we are going to bottle and taste at the beginning of our next episode. But thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you around again next week when we continue our struggle here on the vineyard. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.